Can you be friends with your ex? Mm. <sighs> That's um, I have mixed emotions or feelings about that yeah. because I don't mean to cut you off. No, <laughs> it's almost okay, no. So, but Dang. I mean, okay. So, what if y'all got kids? You got a co-parent. You ain't got to be friends. <clears throat> You okay, just have to have so, that mutual respect. Right. The, okay, so I guess if you, you have that. You ain't even got to have that. You sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I guess man. also it depends on how y'all end it. Like, you know, if you were on good terms when you end it. Wait a minute, though. I think that, see, that, that, that question was open-ended. Can you be friends with your ex if you're still single? Or can you be friends with your mm-hmm. ex if you're in a relationship, because mm-hmm. that changes the whole conversation. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like if you're single, I don't see why you can't be friends with them. As uh, long as, as long as you understand, like the love is gone. Because I know it's harder for females. But is it though? Mm-hmm. But is, is it? <laughs> is the love gone? You get what I I'm mean, saying? Like, of course you're gonna have love for that person. You're gonna always have love for that person, but you're not gonna be in love with that person. I get what you're saying. Mm. So, because I mean, do I do you have? Do you? <laughs> because I there are some exes that I have that you know we did end on good terms. So, but you know what? Now that I think about it, because they still be trying to come back. So, and so are they truly over. just being right? Are they truly over it? Are they truly? Establishing this friendship just as a friend? Um, am or, I am I doing? Uh, am I doing little stuff to see if I can still I get back yeah, in? Can I get back in there? Can I get a little cookies? Because you know what I mean, Mr. Cookie Box. If he was giving up the cookie box, whatever. So what? Mm-hmm. There, there is some other intentions behind it. Sometimes, majority not, of the not time, not all the time though. Sometimes, bullshit. Oh Jesus! Man, can most, I? Can I? Can I do me though? Can no. I do me yet? No, <laughs> no, you can't do you. Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, it, it's situational because I mean, I'm a friendly person, so I will, you know, you check up on your ex. Like, well, if the ex texts you, you you reply back, you know, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm good. How you doing? You you don't do that. Again, I think that it depends. <clears throat> now, I, in a way, I, I agree with you. You know, depending on how the, how the relationship be, you know, some people are just. They're not good. They're friends, but they're not good lovers. They're not good mm-hmm. as you know in that type of relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. Right. But mm-hmm. they 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 guide each other right. regardless of what right. of anything. But they can't mm-hmm. be with each other twenty four seven. Right. Now, <laughs> kind of going off. Well, kind of sort of going off what you were saying about um, <laughs> being single or not being single. Single. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, it's also going to depend on your on your agreement within within each other. Mm-hmm. Personally, if I'm single, you know, depending on how me and my ex relationship is or was, you know, <clears throat> might be open to stay Rekindling. being friends. But knowing me, I am going to still want the cookie box. Oh. <laughs> A typical but man. That, but Duh. but what I'm saying, but I'm saying that that's that's just me. Now I can come to a uh, that we can come to now we can have that conversation. And be mm-hmm. like, no, I don't want that. Cool, let's, let's just be friends. Right. But now we can we can have a different conversation. It's like you know, yeah, we're just friends. Blah 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 blah. Um, but we can still do this part until like you I'm committed. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. That's just my, that's just my can, can I get tagged in yet? Oh my god! <laughs> wait, so okay, go ahead. <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> okay, tag me in, bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this this question in three parts. Is that okay? Let's go. With okay, it. Kanye. <laughs> nah, but it's too. It's gonna be like this though. First single, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be real brief. If you are if you are single, then you can absolutely uh, have a a um, a friend out of make a friend with your be a friend with your ex. If you are single, then you can absolutely be a friend with your ex. Mm-hmm. 
Because there is no one to offend Mm -hmm. unless that ex is in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are in a relationship and you run the risk of offending your partner, and I have grown in this area tremendously. I have grown in this area tremendously because when I was, matter of fact, when I first got with uh, my wife, I was actually friends with multiple of my um, exes Mm -hmm. and it offended my wife and I didn't care. I basically was like on some, you going, you going to either deal with it or we ain't going to be together type, type nonsense. Then I I say not, that's nonsense because that's selfish and come to find out where I'm thinking that I can handle it just fine. You know, I couldn't, and it wasn't even them sometimes. (laughs) <laughs> but it was me sometimes wanting to play the play the field. Yeah, kind of. You know, not that we did anything, but it was me. Want it was the thoughts was there, mm-hmm. and the flirting was there. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And it could have been something could with the exes. Out of context. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I I I matured and grew up, and in my maturation, uh, no, I don't think that's gonna work. And it's not you. Mm-hmm. And I know it's one of them cliche things, but it's not you. It's me. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even lying. So maybe there are people out there who can handle it just fine. But me, I can't. And I ain't going to. So I'm not even going to put myself in that mm-hmm. situation. If something if something were to happen, which I highly doubt. But if something were to happen with me and Ebony and we're not together anymore and I um, and I marry somebody else. I can't still be friends and it may not be her who's the problem. Mm-hmm. It's me. I I may want to hit. You know what I'm saying? Or I may just it may not even be hitting. I still want that connection that mm-hmm. we had. That you get connection. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, nah, I'm going to leave it I'm just going to leave that shit alone all together. Now, can can I interject real quick? Mm-hmm. Tag her so, in. Right, tag me. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's not all about you. Like you said, it's not always it. You know, you say, "Oh, it's not you, it's me." But sometimes it is the other person because um, you you could go in it thinking that, oh, "Okay, yeah, we're gonna be friends," but you still don't know what type of tie that person still has to you. So therefore, Mm -hmm. here you are thinking, oh, I'm just checking up on you and being friendly, Mm -hmm. whatnot. And they see it as a a totally different light. Mm -hmm. They see it as um, uh, an open opportunity or as if you do still have feelings there where genuinely I'm just trying to see, okay, you know, you crossed my mind. You good? Just making sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, you good. When now in the back of their mind, oh, I was on their mind. Mm-hmm. They must still think, right. and I still, and that could truly not be it. Mm-hmm. So, um, it it may not always just be you or y- your spouse's issue. It could be the other person. So I I don't think that. Um, and honestly, you can you can sit here and say, oh yeah, we have a mutual understanding. Oh, we're just gonna be friends. Mm-hmm. If if you truly had a deep relationship, feelings don't go away just like that. Right. No matter whether y'all ended on a good note, mm-hmm. a bad note, everything isn't just so instantaneous. Mm-hmm. Except for me, I'm kind of when I'm done, I'm done. But it it still wasn't an instantaneous. Oh, I'm done. Mm-hmm. It it grew over time. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm done. Now I can you know part ways and be truly done. So I I think. Um, until both of you are truly self-evaluate yourself to say, no, we, we, no, we just can't do this. But I think that also comes with, you know, setting boundaries and having that conversation with one right. another because, um, and, I, and you know, that's, that's where relationships fail anyway. We don't talk, mm-hmm. but <clears throat> that's a whole different topic. <clears throat> right. But, um, but yeah, I mean, if, you know, if you're gonna, if you're thinking about having that, having that agreement, you need to have that conversation. You both of you need to put down what exactly you want from this relationship, this new relationship. Are right. we doing this? Or are we not doing this? Or right. you know, what 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 is what is too far? Right. What is good enough? You know, we have to set those boundaries, and that's with 
any relationship we have, right. whether it's old or new, we gotta we gotta have those boundaries. Right. Because without them, I mean, we're just we're just loose ends. Well, I'll just say, I was on the fence, like I said before, but an ex is an ex for a reason. True. That yeah. part. And I right. and I and I I'll say, uh, going off of what Dom said, man. Um, I always say the only people that can uh, I, y'all know my famous line by now. The only people that can uh define a relationship is the people that's in it. So mm-hmm. if it and if 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 it is agreeable, then by all means y'all do y'all do you. I'm just saying it hasn't worked for me. Mm-hmm. And I can only speak from from me cuz I I I'll say this. There, I seen a video uh just yesterday on social media and it was be- it was a beautiful video where a best man was at a wedding and it, but come to find out though the groom the they were best friends. The best man was the, with the yeah, wife. Yeah, the best yeah. yeah, I did. Right. And <laughs> yeah. Obviously they're all friends. Right. So everybody's different, you know. They can probably mm-hmm. handle that or they could have just dated quickly. It may not have been a mm-hmm. a whole cuz sometimes it be like that though. And then we could talk about that too, but sometimes cuz I would rather my friend be happy. Cause maybe I maybe I met the girl, you know what I mean, and we were cool. But I see that they actually are more. <laughs> I see that they're actually more uh, compatible. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> well, yeah, I, I see Dom over there I, like nah. But I hey, like that, that, that's that that's actually what the best the man said though. He was like, yeah, he was like I. I could tell by the way they looked at each other. And yeah. he was like, but that was while I was dating. <laughs> I was what? dating. Like, he was like, dang, bro. <laughs> but but all I'm saying is, uh, bro, if 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 I meet this girl, right, and we've been dating for, let's just say, like three months, but I see that my best friend is like, he's trying, he's not trying to be disrespectful or anything, but they really bonded. And mm-hmm. I, I might just be like, you know what? Uh, you know, y'all can talk talk right. to each other. We dating. I think people get this you, until you put a ring on it and y'all married. It, 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 I ain't mm-hmm. saying it's not serious, but it ain't really. It hasn't gotten that serious until you really ready to commit to it. Right. So if you're just dating somebody, mm-hmm. y- y'all, uh, ah, this kind of sketchy. This kind of yeah, cause, uh, water because because uh, that's kind of. Mm. What you just said. The reason why I said that is because personally, I'm not married, but me and Molly, we've been together for three years, and we are. But y'all, y'all on but the verge, y'all, right? But y'all, but, but, y'all committed though. So three years to me, at three years, I'm committed to. I'm really. I. That's why I said three months. <laughs> I didn't say three years. But, but what? But what I'm saying is, even at the beginning of our relationship, like we knew. You know what I'm saying? We, that's just because I had my feelings for her. It was, and it just it happened to be mutual. You know, mm-hmm. now, if you really if if you see that your girl is uh really getting you know cool with your with your homie, but you got real tight tight feelings for that for her, you, you know what I'm saying? You not just gonna just open up like nine times. Most most men not gonna do that. Yeah, it take, but that's that's what I'm saying. It takes a a real man to do something like it takes I a real it, a special. I think it's all. I think with that, it it might be situ- situational, because you know I've always I've always went by, you know, bro code. Uh-huh. If my if my if nah, my, but if, see, my, if my if my hold homie, on hold on um, wait a minute this ain't got nothing to do with bro code because, and this not. I'm about to tell you, because you're you're, I didn't I specifically said that he, he's not being disrespectful or anything did I not I said that right I said the guy's not being disrespectful. And you can rewind it when you know when it comes out. Okay. But I said the guy's not being disrespectful because a real friend would never do that to you anyway. Mm-hmm. He's never gonna try to holler at your girl. He, they're just being. We sitting here just talking. They're just like, okay, me and Marquita. We just sitting here talk. We being friends. That's what you do, right? Right. I never said he tried to push up on her. She ain't even disrespect you, and she tried to push up on him. You just can. I guess it, it really gonna come with the more you the more you mature you'll see what I'm talking about. You can just see the vibes. You can feel right. the vibes. You just know it. Mm-hmm. And all I'm saying is if you can see that and y'all at the beginning stage, I ain't saying you three years deep into the thing. I'm saying you just you just met the girl. You just learning her your damn self. You just mm-hmm. met the girl and you like you know what they might be better for each other because 
you may be trying to hold on to something that may be a disaster for you, but great for him anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but at the same time, you you also got to think 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 so think of this as well. You know, my girl can you know me, my girl gets along with my cousin very well. You know, they yeah, but, but that's but, different, but, bro. No, they not no, about to mess not. around, bro. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that you know you could betray it as if like. You know, oh, they get along very well. They could be a good couple, or they could just be real, really cool with each other, and that's it. That could be taken in different, different perspectives. Well, yeah, 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 for sure. Like, uh, how can I say? You get along with my wife. I don't think there's gonna be like some something going on between. That's not what I'm saying. I get, like I said, it's gonna have to come with maturation. The more when you become older, you you gotta realize, me and you got at least a decade in between us as well. You you're gonna start seeing stuff that's di- stuff differently. Uh, the every year that passes, you get what I'm saying. The more you, the more you do things, the more you you're exposed to. You're gonna see things differently. All I'm saying is, if I'm at the beginning, because obviously I'm right, because you see that we were just talking about the video. <laughs> this guy allowed them to get get with each other, while, and then they're married and everybody's happy. And that his that's not the only story. That's just a, a more recent one. You get what I'm saying? But There's plenty you, of stories like that. But what if you put the hunching part in it? What? Uh, the sex part. What about sex? I'm just saying, so you're saying that, say, for instance, you're talking to someone and, you know, um, y'all don't work out, but y'all hunched. But then, you know, your best friend sees her out in the streets and, you know, is interested. Oh, oh, you saying, okay, I wasn't even thinking on that, but okay. So, so what y'all saying is, if you already had sex with her, mm-hmm. that's the bro code. That's breaking bro code. Unless hold on, unless hold on. you have that conversation, you ain't gotta have a conversation. This, this is my thing. Okay. If I'm with, if I've been with this girl for three months, no, hear me, hear me out though. I'm hearing you out. If I've been with this girl for three months, bro, <laughs> and you know we we done fuck. Oh Jesus! And then my. Okay, I'm sorry. You maybe I can edit it. If I've been with her for three months, bro, you know we had sex. <laughs> so all I'm saying is, and that, and that that's actually another topic. Matter of fact, just make it right now. Um, can you be with somebody that you know had sex with one of your friends? Me personally, I'm mature enough to say, yeah, I don't care. But I don't think people always know either, because um, so depending fun. on the the how close you and your guy are and y'all could he you may not see this girl uh to the point of you didn't already started talking to your guys about it isn't this but the, you the and your best guys man not, did, didn't all this happen uh, in the best man uh-huh, uh-huh. the best man movie okay mm-hmm. so even in that movie didn't we say that he was he he was wrong for not telling him but that's not what this situation is though so we trying to make some a situation out of something that ain't even this. It's not the same because we're talking about you are aware that this is my girlfriend and we've been talking for months and we probably let's say we live in the same apartment or something. You hear us fucking. I mean, you hear us having Jesus. sex and you you up here on the other hand talking about I smashed this girl on some one night stands type type deal and she met him and then I'm like I just ain't gonna say nothing about it. That that's breaking bro code, cause that's that to me that that that's fighting shit right there, cause you could have told me that you knew this girl and you smashed her. I may have I may have still been like cool. I'm gonna talk to her, but at least I have the option to be like, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? You taking that option away from me by not telling me that you done smashed my my damn girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? I know it was before that we got together, but still. You took the option away, so a, f- a real friend wouldn't do that anyway. A real friend would not do that. I would not sit here and me, me, me and Dom cool, and he start talking to uh, Marquita, and I done smashed Marquita uh, like a year ago, right? And then whatever, man, <laughs> whatever. She's like, man, just throw me in the mix. <laughs> but I'm saying though, if I I met her before, I smashed her a year ago. Me and him is is tight as hell, and. Uh, they meet each other. They come around and be like, "Yo, I want you to meet my girlfriend." And we go, we go out for drinks, and then we just sitting there. And I'm like, I'm gonna say something. And I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna say something right now. Like, whoa, hey, let me, hey, homie, let me pull you to the side real quick. 
I don't know how you're going to take this if you're going to come out your bag. <laughs> but I got to let you know, he don't get that reference, yeah. right? <laughs> but I got to let you know, bro. Uh, your girlfriend, man, um, you know, or the girl that you just introduced. Obviously, y'all at the beginning. That's why you should do it right at the beginning. Um, we, you know, I met her last year and, you know, we had a one one night thing. It wasn't nothing serious, but at least that gives him the option to say, is he comfortable with pers- continuing to go? Or is he just going to smash the girl and he going to hit it too? Because it's something, it's mighty funny that it ain't a problem when we just both tagging it up. But when they become, when they have feelings for each other, then it's a problem that you, that she had sex with. And you get what I'm saying? If we just both fuck the same girl, then it's cool. But if we both fucked her and I'm trying to pursue her in a relationship, then it's a problem. That's why I was saying, you know, you, you got to have that conversation. You know, you got to, um, if you, like you said, if you, came, if you came to me and told me, hey, I smashed her, it's like, okay. Well, one, I have to make a decision if I'm, you know, cool with that. And two, right. I, have to, I have to, as you be my bro, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? In my mind, I'm thinking, well, is this okay? This from it, with our relationship, you know right. what I'm saying? Cause you mm-hmm. you already smashed. Mm-hmm. But see, you know what I'm saying? But you got to know what kind of what kind of broke you you need to know. First of all, that's why I keep my my circle small. Number one. But that's why I was just saying you you, you got to have that conversation. You you need to know what kind of man's you're dealing with anyway. Cause if your man's first of all, if he gonna let you, you need to let your man's go. If you find out a year down the line, you you probably need to let your man's go, because he done let you sit around here. For a whole year, and now in the back of your mind, you can't help but think, damn, if they already fucked. You know, that one time I went to the grocery store and they was at the crib together, or whatever the case may be. All that shit in the back, gonna play in the back of your mind. That shit ain't gonna work out no way. I'm telling you, bro. So you, you need to check. You're gonna have to drop your girl and your, and your bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, both of them. I'm breaking air, up with both air, of them. Everybody out the picture. Yeah, we, I'm just 